my channel. So first of all, I wanted to say that I hope all of you are staying safe and staying healthy and of course staying home. And please let me know down in the comments below how you and your family are doing. And what I'm doing in today's video is showing you how to easily achieve gel nails at home. And this is something that I used to do actually all of the time. And then I started going back to the nail salon, but of course all of the salons are closed right now. And we have pretty much all the time in the world to do our own nails. And I know it can be very frustrating, especially if you've never done it before, but I promise you that if you take your time and follow these easy, simple steps that I'm about to break down for you, you can easily achieve beautiful nails that last you two weeks or more. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting off with everything that you will need, the first thing is of course your gel color. And this is actually from the brand CND. It's a shellac color and this is in the shade cake pop and quite honestly i've had this way too long and i don't know if it's still good it kind of looks a little bit thick but i am crossing my fingers that hopefully this works and then of course you will need a top coat and a base coat you will also need some kind of cuticle pushback device like this one a nail file and this one is a crystal nail file i would actually prefer like a more malleable one but this one works just as well and then I also have some cuticle eraser or you can use like a cuticle remover type of serum or cream, whatever works for you. I also have a buffing block, some cuticle oil, or this is 100% rose hip seed oil, which, which works really, really well for your nails. And this is kind of just a bonus, but I have some shea butter hand cream, which I absolutely love. It smells so good. And then you will also need some rubbing alcohol and this is for to remove that very top kind of um, tacky coat when you're finished and not all gel polishes do you have to do that with but I know that for the shellac ones you do have to do that and right now I do have dip on my nails from the last time that I did them and I'm actually going to try a new trick today I actually saw this on TikTok. so what you do is you get two plastic bags stick paper towels in both of them pour some acetone in and then you're going to kind of rub your nails on the paper towel in a bowl of hot or warm water and supposedly that is going to take it off in three minutes um, I don't know if that's true I've never tried this before so we're gonna try something new today and see if that works I'm really excited if it does because that saves you so much time like usually it takes me about 10 minutes to take off dip nails even longer than that so we'll see how this works and also before you do that you want to make sure and file that top coat of your dip nails off or gel depending on what you have. First thing I'm going to do is file them and I think I'm gonna go for a short square generally I like shorter nails and right now they pretty much do have a square shape to them but I am going to shorten them a little bit and make them just a little bit more square So I think I filed them to the shape I want and two tips that I have when filing your nails So first of all, you should only go in one direction when you're filing Second of all, I kind of like to turn them around with my palm facing me and that way I can see if they're even or um, Straight across or not, especially if you're doing square you want to turn them around and um 
face your palm towards you so that you can see if the line is straight across. So those are my two of my biggest tips for filing. And I also like to check, I hold up each hand to each other and see if all of the fingers are matching or all of the nails are matching too. Okay, now the next step is to buff the nails. So I got this little buffer block from Sally's and you can get these so many different places. You can actually get a big package of them off of Amazon for, um, it's very inexpensive. So I will link that down below because I think I am going to pick that up. And it also comes with a bunch of filing um, tools as well. So when you're buffing, you want to make sure that you're getting every single edge of your nail, especially up where your cuticles are and around the sides of the nail. And another thing, you wanna make sure that you're buffing out the very tip of your nail edge because sometimes you'll get like little um, tiny pieces of nail that are sticking out or up. So you'd wanna make sure to buff those off as well. So kind of I do a motion, an up and down motion like this as well as side to side. And normally before I buffed, I would be pushing back my cuticles or removing my cuticles, but I noticed that my cuticles are actually pretty much still gone from last time I did my nails, so I'm not even going to worry about that. So now you're going to grab a cotton pad, and I just use these little round ones. I'm going to get my rubbing alcohol and just put a little bit of alcohol on that. And what this is for is to um, dehydrate the nail because you want to make sure that it's absolutely dry, no oils whatsoever on your nails. Um, and that way the gel can really adhere and stick to your nails, which is exactly what you want so that it lasts a long time. So this is a very important step. Do not skip this step. Definitely do this. Okay, now that I put alcohol on my nails, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see how I paint my nails. Okay, so what I like to do right before I paint my nails is kind of open up all my bottles and just kind of set the um, little applicators right on top so they're kind of loosely on there. That way I don't have to worry about me messing up my nails and unscrewing them later. Okay, so first you're going to take your base coat and you wanna make sure that you do as even of strokes as possible. And I like to follow the pattern of one stripe down the middle, one on the side and one on the other side. And I find that that way it makes it the most even that it can be. And now I'm going to stick them in my nail dryer. So every nail dryer is different. This one has a switch for 120 or 180 seconds. It's on 120, so I'm just going to flick that on and dry the base coat. Okay, the base coat is dry, so now I'm going to move on to the color. So generally with this um, C&D nail polish, it takes about two coats to get a really nice opaque color. And I love this cake pop color. It's like a light lavender pink is how I would describe it. It's one of my favorite colors of all time. And again, you're following that same pattern, one stripe down the middle, one stripe on either side. Okay, so after your first coat of color is applied, you're just gonna go back over your nails and see if there's any color that got on your outer edge of your nail and just kind of clean that up with your fingernail, being very careful not to mess with the color on your actual nails. And then go ahead and stick it in the dryer for another 120 seconds. Okay, then you're going to apply a second coat of color and dry them once again. Okay, now we're going to apply the top coat and another tip with gel polish, you wanna make sure that every coat that you're doing is thin and never thick or chunky. So that is the key to gel polish when applying it is to make sure it's nice and thin. Okay. 
Okay, now that the top coat's applied, I also like to make sure that when I use the top coat that I really seal around the edges of the nail and that way it won't start to lift um, as soon as it normally would. So when you do that, it'll ensure that it will last at least two weeks. And then when you're finished with the top coat, go ahead and stick it in the dryer for the same amount of time. Okay, now for the final steps, you're going to get a cotton swab with some um, alcohol on it and you're going to wipe that tacky layer off of your polish. And also I'm going to add a few drops of my rosehip seed oil and this really moisturizes the cuticle. It just makes it look really nice and shiny and healthy. And really make sure to massage that really well into your nail. And then there you have the finished result. I love this color. It's such a pretty um, like lavender pink and I think it's really a good color for spring. So I highly recommend this. And also C&D is a cruelty free brand. So I love using them for because of that reason as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and finish my other nail and I will come back and show you all of the nails together. Okay, so now both sets of nails are done and this is the finished result. I love how they turned out. I love the shape. I love this color um, like I said this is one of my all-time favorite colors especially for spring in the beginning of summer it's like the perfect shade so cannot recommend that enough and I'm gonna try to do a close-up so you can get a better look at my nails That does conclude today's easy gel nail tutorial if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also please subscribe i make new videos every single week on wednesdays and fridays on any topic ranging from lifestyle to beauty to fashion and i almost forgot i'm sitting here looking at it i forgot to put my hand cream on so i'm just going to put a little of this on and this is like a must-have for me this is actually from bath and body works it's their shea butter hand cream it smells so nice it's just like a very warm type of a scent, very moisturizing, so highly recommend that. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you next week. Bye.